So hopefully you've seen the impact of exponentials, how powerful they are in transforming industries, transforming worlds. So I'd like to share with you this graphic. Now, we are all local and linear thinkers. That red line at the bottom is all of us. It's our teachers, it's our congressmen, it's our shareholders, it's our investors, it's our family. We haven't had a hardware or software upgrade in two million years. It's been a while. The yellow line, it's computation, AI, robotics, 3D printing, synthetic biology, sensors and networks. All of these technologies that are, that are literally building year on year, doubling every 12 to 24 months. And the difference between us linear thinkers and that exponential growth curve is either disruptive stress or disruptive opportunity. If you're the CEO of a Fortune 200 company being disrupted, it's disruptive stress. If you're the kid in the garage coming up with an amazing opportunity, it's disruptive opportunity. In my second book, Bold, I open up with a story that is really meaningful and I think it's something that I want you to internalize. So the year is 1996. The company is Kodak, and Kodak's at the top of its game. It has built a market cap of $28 billion, it has 140,000 employees, it has a brand like you could not buy. Depending on how old you are, if you're sort of closer to my age, you'll remember Kodak as the centerpiece of every vacation. You go and you buy the film, you take the photos, you would pay for them to be, uh, to be exposed, and hopefully one or two came out. But what most people don't know is that 20 years earlier, in 1976, Kodak had invented the digital camera. A guy named Stephen Sasson, we'll see him later, created a digital camera that could take 0.01 megapixel images stored on a tape drive. And when he brought this digital camera into the boardroom of Kodak, the board laughed and said, what are you kidding me? We're Kodak. We make beautiful high resolution images. Besides, this digital camera is a toy for kids. And we're in the paper and chemicals business. You see, Kodak forgot what business they were truly in. George Eastman, the founder of Kodak, wanted to create photography to preserve memories. And when Kodak got so enamored by being in the paper and chemicals business and missed the digital camera revolution, it was decimating for them. Fast forward to 2012, even though Kodak had the patents, the first mover advantage, Kodak files for bankruptcy put out of business by the very technology that they had invented in the very first place. But that's not the end of the story. You see, in 2012, another company that you and I both know called Instagram was acquired by Facebook for a billion dollars. And Instagram had 13 employees at the time. And so Instagram's mission of preserving people's memories using exponential technologies was extraordinary. And I've given the name of the moment in time where a linear thinking company like Kodak gets disrupted by exponential technologies a name. I call it the new Kodak moment. And we're gonna have lots of new Kodak moments coming up. And as an entrepreneur, this is where you can have incredible advantage of helping transform and disrupt large existing businesses. Or if you're the CEO of a large existing business, you have to protect yourself against this. Look at this curve. You can see the rapid fall off of film photography as digital photography is you know, exploding onto the scene. I can't show you where it is in, you know, 2015, 16, 17, 18, because it's way off the charts, right? So look at this fall off. I want to show you another fall off. This is what happened with Blockbuster. That red line, that's Blockbuster as it literally went off a cliff. Now, Blockbuster was disrupted by Netflix, something that perhaps you use. I know I use it a lot at home. And now, Blockbuster should have basically dominated the digital distribution of videos. They had the first mover advantage, but they viewed themselves being in the real estate business. And when Netflix came along and jumped on this exponential growth curve, it was extraordinary. So we see here as Blockbuster goes bankrupt, you know, Netflix reaching $2 billion, but because they're on an exponential growth curve, six years later, now they're valued at $55 billion, a 20-fold increase in six years. Incredible. So I want to share with you and close on two thoughts. This is from the Babson Olin School of Business and they projected that in the next decade it's predicted 40 percent, 40 percent, a coin flip, 
of all Fortune 500 companies will no longer exist. They'll be disrupted by technologies that haven't been invented yet, perhaps that you haven't invented yet. The other example comes from Richard Foster at Yale, who said, listen, in the 1920s, if you join the S&P 500 on the stock exchange, your the you know, transformation, the change was so slow that you were on the S&P 500 for 67 years. Today you get in the S&P 500, your MySpace displaced by Facebook, displaced by Snapchat, or whatever's next. We're living during a period of extraordinary growth, extraordinary opportunity. It's disruptive and it's filled with amazing opportunities for you to create an exponential organization.